Since this robot has to work underwater, we need to make sure that our electrical components are separated from the water because electricity and water does not mix. In our case, we have several things that need to be protected. The most important things are the thrusters. So these are actually underwater motors, so they have a little waterproof seal in here, but they're designed to be hooked up to something that is inside the boat. And so consequently, there's this opening here that we need to fix. So we are going to seal up this opening so the water doesn't come in there, and we're gonna use the hot glue gun to do it. So basically we're gonna put a lot of glue in here and we're gonna make sure that it's fully covering everything. So I'm gonna pull the wires to one side, I'm gonna squeeze the glue in over on this side, just lots of glue. And then I'm gonna pull the wires over to the other side and just make sure there's some glue on that side as well. And I'm gonna just muss it all around here. And this will just seal out any water. Now, this is a fill trick. I don't like this all messy here, I'd like it to be all smooth, but if I touch it with my fingers, it'll stick. But if I lick my fingers, I can do that. Don't tell your mum and dad that, okay. All right, so I'm gonna put that aside. So you need to do all three motors. The one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna get any glue at this other end because that way it'll stop the propeller from spinning. Put some glue in there. These motors will still work if they get wet, but if they stay wet, the inside pieces will start rusting, and then they won't turn. Put the finger. Oh. One more. Don't forget to do all three. All right, so that's the thrusters. Now, we also have some connectors where the tether attaches to the ROV. And there's some exposed wires and things like that in here. So we can't put glue gun on those because then they won't do their job properly. But we can do something else. There's two little tubes. It says super lube. But what this is is a dielectric, which is a fancy word for insulator. And if we take this, we can squeeze this gel around the electrical component. So I'm gonna squeeze some inside this connector here. It doesn't matter where it goes. We want to cover everything, basically. And I'm going to put some on the metal bits on the back here, which probably cover anything that looks like it's shiny. These wires that are coming up here, they're going to be used to connect to the thrusters. So we're going to squeeze some dielectric on those. This just prevents them from corroding and things like that. So that's one. We're also going to put some inside these connectors from the thrusters themselves. I'm just going to cover everything up. Doesn't matter if you get too much on here. There's actually two tubes of this stuff. You probably only need one. If you want to do it again later on, that'll be fine. Put some on there. Put some on my third one. They're all nice and goopy everywhere. That's a technical term, by the way, goopy. All right, and because we're going to be plugging in, I'm actually going to put some on these wires as well. This is where we're going to be plugging in, so I'm just going to put some on there. Feel free to put some more on if you run out. So now we've gone through, we've checked out all the places where we see any wires. We put our dielectric on, we put our hot glue gun. So we are ready to start assembling things. <laughs>